Hey gang, welcome back to Brick System Brothers. Today, for your viewership and commentary considerations, I would like to present some details about working through the St. Louis job lot. Briefly covered this about a month ago, and it's been one of the projects that's kind of been an ongoing a little bit here, a little bit there. Definitely not moving uh, quickly through it, but uh, I am working at a pace that I'm happy with, um, so that's kind of fine with me in terms of, you know, there isn't really a deadline for this project, um, but I do like to see the progress moving forwards, um, at least on a month-by-month -month basis, and it's getting done. So, over here on the right, that is the box as it was sold. So, there were four or five of these, maybe five or six. Um, yeah, just bulk Lego. That's how it was listed on eBay. And uh, just a reminder, instead of um, paying to have everything shipped here, which would have gotten pretty expensive. I ended up making it a two-day trip driving down to pick it up in person and uh, was also able to negotiate a little bit lower than what it was listed for um, just using the message feature on eBay, which I highly recommend. From the boxes, I have been dumping directly into a large mixer and this just Gets me a little bit better access to the parts, not necessarily doing any processing between these two steps. And then once it's in the open top section here, this is where I start doing the breakdown and the separation of non-LEGO items. So um, that's what's in progress. There's quite a bit in here that is still built out sections. Basically, as I work through these and break them down, um, I try to break them down into the next bin so that I'm not you know, doing too many things at once. Um, and yeah, just, if it's already loose, just kind of sifting through that and, and bringing that into the next stage. And then as I do find the knockoff and other items, those get separated out as well. So two categories for that at the moment. On the left is the completely random stuff that is not related to Lego whatsoever. On the right is various items that are compatible with Lego, but are a different brand. Um, and this is one of the first things that I do with bulk lots is just get this separated out. Other items of interest that are Lego, first off is going to be the broken pieces. I do separate those out right away. Uh, this lot's actually been pretty well maintained in terms of, um, yeah, there are some broken pieces, but very low percentage compared to what's actually buildable in here. Um, some other things that I'm keeping out right away would be motorized or mechanical elements, especially if it's got metal or uh, cannot be accessed the, to the internals because I want to be able to do um, a washing process where I'm not having to go through everything again. And so by setting these to the side at this stage, um, I can kind of ensure that those will not accidentally end up in the water. And some other things would be vintage stickers that I don't want to get washed off. Modern stickers uh, hold up to water pretty well. And for the most part, a lot of modern stickers, I don't necessarily care if those stay on the bricks. But there are a couple of interesting things that I come across every once in a while that I'd rather have um, not get destroyed. So if I can set those to the side at this stage of the process, that can pretty much guarantee they stay out of the water. I can still do a little bit of hand cleaning with these in a way that does not damage the sticker. Um, some other things that I set aside at this stage will be minifigure pieces so I can get a separate count and other items of interest and that's not as defined just in terms of, oh, I'd like to remember that I got these pieces in this bulk lot so I'm going to set these aside. This will show up in my pictures, in my video recording, and then um, I can kind of have that on record. So There's also a money back program when you buy bulk. Do not recommend. It's not worth it. Okay, Bu buying bulk is worth it, just to clarify. But do not buy bulk for the money that is in the bulk. Hopefully, Hopefully that is <laughs> goes without saying. The final stage over here is the large volume container of counted, as close as I can get to 100% LEGO brand. So during the counting phase, I do have a secondary, um, this would be the second round knockoff pieces. 
and basically this represents my error rate for finding knockoff Lego within the first round of sorting. So depending on how many rounds of sorting you're doing, you might be missing some non-Lego items the first time around. Um, and I can actually, if I keep this separate, I can quantify that as a percentage as an error rate. And that's something I talked about in the other bulk videos. Um, for this particular bulk, I do not want to go into as much detail with as many videos, but I did want to give you guys another look at the middle part of the process. So to get to this point, counting wise, I've got these two kind of more shallow bins and then a regular stair light. Uh, basically what I do, as I go from this bin here into one of the shallows, that just gets to be loose Lego pieces that are hopefully 99% Lego brand. And then I take this shoebox size, get a good scoop out, and use the second bin as the receiver, and that's what I count into. Grab this here. Yeah. So as I go through, I count to groups of 100, and then I put a tally mark down for each group of 100. I've got these arranged in blocks of 10,000 count. So this is going to be 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. Five rows is 10,000 parts, and then I start a new block. Basically, that's going to tell me at a glance where I'm at with the bulk, how many parts I've worked through so far, and can start to get a visual estimate of, you know, is this a 40,000 piece bulk? Is this a 50,000 piece bulk? And um, also getting that count of parts that I like to have. Um, definitely something that not everybody does with bulk. Totally get that. It is a time investment for sure. Um, but it's something that I've started doing to have a running estimate of parts in my collection. Um, since I don't track that a different way, Basically when it comes in is when I'm trying to get that count and then I can actually have a pretty close idea of where I'm at in terms of you know the actual quantity of pieces that are on hand at any given time. Once that's pretty full is when it gets dumped into here. The last step of this process is going to be a weighing stage. Now that I've got this as close as possible uh, to 100% Lego brand, there's probably still one or two knockoffs in there. but at that point, we're at like 99.99%, right? Um, before I put it in the water and potentially get things waterlogged, and then after the washing process, I like to move to sorting right away. So before I go another step with this, I'm gonna do the weighing, and then I will have as close as possible to the weight of the bulk lot as well, without looking at any of the packaging, without looking at any of the um, non-Lego items. So. I'll be doing that for the bulk, of course, and then I have started setting some things aside. Like I mentioned, I'll have to weigh those separately to get the final weight. But that's pretty much my process of working through bulk at this point. This will be the second or third, depending on how big you want to call a job lot. Um, if you want to say like over 10,000 pieces is a job lot, this will be like the third one that I've worked through. and. Um, it's a pretty good way to get Lego at a lower rate per piece. Um, just when you go by the pound and you don't really care about what is in any given pound of Lego. Um, like I did not buy this lot for minifigs. I did not buy this lot for sets. I just looked at what is the cheapest I can get this per pound and then work that down as far as I can um, and then jump into the sorting process and getting it sorted out and buildable. And this is what I pull from when I'm working on other projects. So that's the process here. A little bit more detail. Um, kind of recapping this all in one video instead of having it spread out through several videos um, in the previous job lot series. I did want to do something like that um, as I'm now in the middle of this process. So that's where the St. Louis lot is at. About uh, 10,000. Um, 12, uh, yeah, 12,000 pieces counted out, ready for weighing and washing at this point. And maybe that's close to halfway. 
I think that's probably less than halfway. Of course, we'll just have to wait and see there as I do continue working through this project. Um, pretty soon I'll be working on switching gears a little bit. I am planning to bring some Lego back from Iowa and set up my storage wall with uh, the rest of the acro mills. So that'll be a little bit different dynamic than what I've had so far, where this has been a main focus of uh, what I've had for Lego here, um, and that is about to change. So this might get stretched out a little bit instead of moving uh, at the pace it has so far. Again, just have to wait and see there. And we'll catch you next time on Brick System Brothers. Thanks for watching, guys.